Hello everybody, back on the mini. Now, since I've seen you last, I have been doing a bit. We now have the floor repair welded back over here in the original position. We've also got it fixed and welded, plug welded to the cross member and we've plug welded the original holes back through on this side. Now, before I did that, I did make sure that I screwed this up from underneath to make sure we got a nice close fit here. Because if you went ahead and welded this and that wasn't up tight, you'll, you'd never get it back up in position. So I'm confident that the repairs, you know, it, it's not going to fall off, put it that way. So I think we can now move on and start talking about the doorstep. Now, thanks to our friend who chopped this and the doorstep out, we've got a problem. Because we don't know to within half an inch where the top of the doorstep goes and the other problem we got even if we get that spot on what we don't know is if the gap between the doorstep and the door is going to remain parallel the bottom of the doorstep's got to be parallel with the door the only trouble with that is I have to take the door off to facilitate the repair at the end of the hinge pillar as you can see this piece is all missing but luckily it's on the repair panel so we need all of this we need to take the door off to get it where it needs to be so that's another chicken and egg situation so let me have a think about it and I'll see if I can come up with something that's going to give us a reference of where the door normally sits okay so what I went ahead and did I've clamped a straight edge it's a piece of thin channel which is ideal to the bottom of the door so that the bottom edge of the straight edge is in line with the bottom of the door and then by having some self tapping screws in here and a couple here to make sure that this repair panel which is basically just bolted up all lines up we've got somewhere to fix it at this end and then a little temporary bracket again just self tap it in to give a fixing at this end so plan being there we can now take the door off and we've got a physical reference hanging in midair of where the bottom of the door used to be all right so i've loosely clamped it on there and straight away i can see we've got some issues so let's go and have a look at the other side which is original and seeing if we can compare the two so on an original doorstep this inner lip should be a, a, a real tight crease that's not rounded that's that's pretty square also the fall on the on the top part of the step is it's not it's not it's not a fantastic amount it's just got a slight drop this lower step it's you know it's got it's got some thickness to it 
So let's compare that to the other side. So on the new repair panel, we've lost our sharp crease in here. This is this is rounded. This drops like a stone away. It's not just a shallow drop. It's plunging down. And the depth of the bottom crease, it's only about two thirds of what it should be. Now, when I check the other side, the gap between the bottom of the door and the place on the step where the gap is formed is about the width of these two rulers. And, you know, I mean, I ain't fussy, but. Now, do you remember me saying, we don't know where the top of this is supposed to be you might say well just raise it up a bit but I already ready given it the benefit of the doubt we're already hanging over the top quite substantially so all in all it's a bit of a disaster but then that really shouldn't be a surprise to anybody who's been around these panels for any length of time because they're not repair quality panels they are purely and simply designed to go straight over what's underneath straight over the rust straight over everything tack welded on to get through an MOT that's all they are if we go over I dragged out my old what used to be the Bible. This was the last one I managed to get before they changed name and what have you. 2007. And I've been buying on and off these panels since the mid 80s and it's the same old stuff. You've got to remember back then that there was no such thing as British Motor Heritage panels and nobody was restoring these cars. The cars were two or three hundred pound that's all they were worth nobody was going to spend no money on them so the heritage panel which runs from here up to here you just get that L shape is 102 pounds and then if you they don't make this as a any type of panel because they'll only sell you a whole rear quarter. Heritage don't do patch repair panels. They can only sell you what the molds they've got, which are the originals, the original tooling. So I either scrap this and bite the bullet and pay through the nose for the heritage panel or I make it or modify it and obviously that looks like that's going to be the subject of the next video so thanks ever so much for watching and we'll catch you in the next one